Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Solana Daily Update. We are going to see the next price targets, where are we going, and of course, before we continue, join the monthly subscription, buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto. You will take easy profits with the revolutionary system with buying and selling opportunities. You will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell your altcoins. You will also get market updates, personal guidance every day, educational videos, become expert in the technical analysis and hold your future in your hands, manual system with buying and selling opportunities, random giveaways and pine scripts for trading view. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to join the Telegram group chat as well and hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Let's go right now to the Fibonacci extension starting from the bottom back on July, 20 July, ending up to the top we had on 8 September. You can see 9 September actually, and then going back down to the bottom on 21st September. Okay. And we want to see some important things right there for Solana. So the next price target we have right now at the 0.618 Fibonacci extension is at the 237 to 239 around this area. I will explain with further details on the price analysis section. You can go in there with the timestamps. But anyway, yes, we have the 236 and we are going to see the next price target as well as if we can break and go even even to the 1.618, which is the 430. Can we go there for Solana? Can it get in such an impulsive wave so we can go there? Let's go first to the MACD around here and let's go to the 4-hour frame on the MACD. You can see right here we had the double bottom pattern and now we are having a very very huge increase in the MACD. We are going even even higher. That is pretty pretty good. You can see that we were consolidating but the price did not go so further down. Okay so this was very very nice. Let's go to the risk metrics right now on the risk metrics. As you can see we have the RSA in an extreme overbought. The Komodo Channel Index, the Stochastic RSA and the Fisher transform as well. We can go a little bit further upwards. However, you should be a little bit careful and you should be selling your Solana around there for the short term if you want. If you want for the long term and you haven't missed the hype train you bought around here, for example, then hold it. Okay, hold your Solana. All right. But on the four hour frame, on the short term, we have a high risk right there. That's why I'm telling you that uh, with, due to the high risk, you might want to trade some, you might want to sell uh, a little bit of your money and to just invest it somewhere else or on Solana in case, uh, after we correct actually. Okay, so let's go to the daily frame right there. On the daily frame, you can see according to the SL Hybrid, we had a buying opportunity. Nice buying entry right there for Solana. SL Hybrid is a great indicator on impulsive waves or we, if we have bullish market on bearish markets or if we do not have any, any impulsive wave, it is totally wrong most of the times okay but right now i trust it i trust this buying entry we had right here on the daily frame you can see on the daily frame though we are getting into a little bit of an overbought situation right here not a little bit actually we have the rsi above the 70 but anyway if we just manage to surpass this previous high right here then we would be able to go even even higher okay and maybe we start another impulsive wave of something like this on the daily frame uh the stochastic rsi though is not in an overbought that is pretty pretty good Komo channel index is in an overbought situation and the fisher transform just had a bullish uh, cross right here between the blue line and the uh, orange line as you can see on your screen okay so we are going now to Solana Bitcoin chart. Next price target for me, the 0.2037482. And as we talked about many times in the previous videos, we had the swing high reaccumulation phase, swing high again, maybe reaccumulation and swing high. We will see about that though. We will see if we can surpass this price label right here that it's very, very high. Sorry, not this, uh, this one right there, the minus 0 0.618. Okay, the minus 0 0.618, the four, 0.20. 41726 okay we need to get above that then yes we can go all the way up higher but right now as you can see we had this impulsive wave right here on the 4 hour frame correcting another impulsive wave maybe we are if we start the Elliott wave theory right now maybe we were at the third point right here uh sorry at the second point we are going to the third right now and then correcting at the fourth and then going again at the fifth 
point. Let's go to Solana Bitcoin chart on the daily frame. Here you can see things are looking very, very good. We have a strong resistance between the 0 0.2036 uh, and 37 around there. But anyway, we are looking very, very bullish, extremely bullish. We are about to get above the 70 again. We haven't got above the 70 again. You can see this looked like a cap and handle pattern and then we just went upwards right same with the stochastic RSI we have an extreme overbought we have an overbought as well for the Komodo channel index but the RSA is not in an overbought for the time being so we can go to Solana USDT chart right here and you can see what we have is that we can go even even higher I am having a price target for the very very short term at around 230 236 around there and 240 so this whole area right here is a very strong resistance level on the short term for Solana okay and if we correct from there do not worry do not uh, say that we are bearish okay it will be a very very healthy correction right there okay so I can remove all the drawings right there and I can redraw a Fibonacci retracement from this bottom to around this top right here to let's say 237 to 238 you can see that we have some very very important support levels for example we are having first the 226 and secondly the 218 if we get there this is a great rebuying entry in case you have missed the hype trade for Solana I am saying if you are a new trader and you want to get in just wait a little bit till we correct on the short term then you can get in into those prices as well because after the correction after we correct of course we will go down of course the market needs to correct a little bit and the very healthy market is not the one that pumps up quickly a very healthy market is a healthy market like Solana for example you can see here we had an impulsive wave correcting moving a little bit sideways reaccumulation phase going up sideways you can see going up as well this is a very healthy market right there and of course we have some next price targets in which I will do it again with the help of the Fibonacci extension okay and I will remove all the drawings I will go back into my trend based Fibonacci extension tool I will go from this bottom around here back on 20 July ending up to this top around there here we are and there as well so you can see we have the 235 236 as a major resistance level we have then the 267 and the 300 tether usd for solana okay so we have to break above those two resistance levels first in order to get to the next price target and of course before we close the video join the month subscription buy me a coffee slash mind your crypto you will see the benefits you won't regret it and you can cancel any anytime you like thank you for watching have a fantastic day wherever you are see you soon with many many more videos bye